All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about finding tangent planes to a surface in standard rectangular coordinate system and finding normal lines to those surfaces in three dimensions. So first, uh, before we get started, we wanna talk about uh, reminding ourselves how to write the equation of a plane in three dimensions and similarly, the equation of a line. So in order to write the equation of a plane, we need a vector that is perpendicular to the surface, so normal to the surface, and a point that's in the plane. And then if our ABC is the vector perpendicular to the plane, and HKL is a point in the plane, then our plane equation is A times X minus H plus B times Y minus K plus C times Z minus L. That's an L, not a one. Um, and then that's equal to zero. Don't forget the equals to zero because it's not an equation of a plane if it doesn't have an equation in it. Um, for my purposes, personally, I don't require my students to multiply this out and simplify um, an equation is an equation, but you know your mileage may vary depending on what your professor prefers. Now for the equation of the line, uh, we also need a vector that points in the direction of the line and a point on the line. And so the general form, the symmetric form of the line would be given like this, h uh, x minus h over a equals y minus k over b equals z minus l over c. Now, if a, b, and c are, if any of these are zero, that's no problem for the plane. That is a problem for the symmetric form of the line. It may be better to write the uh, equation of the normal line in parametric form. So as r of t, a function of r of t, uh, then it won't matter if one of these is zero. You can just leave it out of the equation. Um, that version would be r of t. And then you would solve each of these for t, uh, sorry, for x, for y, and z, e each of them equal to t in order to get those components. So you would get uh, essentially a t plus h for the x component and um, b times uh, b t plus k for the y component and c t uh, plus l for the k component. But again, if any of these co coefficients are zero, you have to do that uh, or you're not gonna get a line, you're gonna get a plane because if you leave out the one that's division by division by zero. But if they're all non-zero, then this is perfectly fine. All right, so let's go through. Now, to actually calculate the vector that is perpendicular to the surface, we're gonna calculate the gradient of not the original uh, function z, but we're gonna put everything on one side of the equation, call that big F, and then we're gonna calculate the vector perpendicular to the surface uh, from that big F function. So what we're gonna do for this uh, particular example, x squared plus three y plus three z equals nine, this is some kind of surface in three dimensions that has only three variables. And we're gonna evaluate it at the point two, negative one, two. Uh, we're gonna find the tangent plane to the graph at this point, And then we're gonna find the normal line at the same point. So when we were dealing with parametric equations, we had one tangent and then we had a normal plane because we had a normal vector and a binormal vector. But here we're gonna get a tangent plane because the tangent is gonna extend in two dimensions and then there's only one dimension left that you have to worry about for the normal. So we can get a line that is normal to the surface, but we won't be able to get two different dimensions, two plane, a plane that is um, normal to the curve because we're dealing with the surface. So first thing, we create our big F function, put everything on one side of the equation. So I move the nine over, set it equal to zero. That's big F. And then the next thing I do is I take the gradient and the gradient is just a vector composed of the partial derivatives. So the first component is the derivative, the partial derivative of this big F function with respect to X. So big F 
2x squared, the derivative of that, or x squared, the derivative of that is 2x. Um, the derivative of big F with respect to y, this was 3y, so the y component is just 3. And then the derivative of big F with respect to z, that was z cubed. And so the derivative of that is 3z squared. And then we're going to evaluate that gradient at the given point. And when we plug in x equals 2, y equals negative 1, and z equals 2, we end up with this vector for 3, 12. And so to get the tangent plane, we combine this point with this vector in the plane equation. And so we get 4 from here, x minus 2 from here, plus 3 times y plus 1 plus 12 times z minus 2 equals 0. Now, to get the normal line, we can use the symmetric form of the line since none of these components are 0. And it's going to look very similar, except we have a bunch more equal signs. So x minus 2, again, the 2's from our point, divided by the vector component y plus 1 divided by 3, and that's equal to z minus 2 divided by 12. And again, this is a, a picture of what the, the actual surface looks like and the plane plotted on the same graph. And you can see that it is tangent to the curve at that point.